I'm Squish the Ninja and I hope you're having a great day. Hey, so March is over. March is always quite a good month for me because my birthday is in March. What else happened in March? Yeah, Mother's Day. Mother's Day is also in March in the UK. I also got my hair cut in March. Do you like it? It's a little bit messy at the moment. I vacuumed it and stuff today. Yeah, got my hair cut, dyed it, did birthday things. I'm gonna get on to my favourites of this month. So my favourite music. Okay, without a doubt, this is definitely my number one music favourite. Creeper. Creeper are a rock band. They're kind of unlike anything else. Some people kind of say that they sound a little bit like My Chemical Romance. So that sort of sound, I guess. Give them a listen, see what you think. Their new album came out called A Turn Into Your Arms. It's, it's great. Every single track on the album is amazing. My personal favourite track on the album is Misery, which I will link to the video down in the description. Me and Zach went to go see Creeper. I think it was, I don't know, it seems like it was ages ago definitely in 2015 maybe I don't know it seems like a long time ago but we we saw them when they were supporting a different band um, and they were amazing but they hadn't released an album they just released EPs so that had to tide us through up until now and their album is incredible they have a backstory about their album as well um, you might see some people wearing masks and stuff dressed up as like the stranger or people with jackets with this symbol um, on the back. I'm not gonna go into all of the sort of mythology and stuff behind the characters because there's an awful lot of it. There is a lot of like folklore and backstory that they've put in. I think it really creates like a community within the fans and it's like it's really good. I haven't like experienced that really um, with other bands as much. If you want me to do a video about mythology and folklore um, to do with Creeper and stuff like that let me know and I might make a completely separate video just about that. So yeah definitely give them a listen. Okay moving on to movies. I didn't really watch an awful lot of movies in March. One that I saw in the cinema that definitely stood out to me was Get Out. Get Out is amazing. It's great. I'm sure you've probably seen the trailers and stuff for it but if you haven't I'll put a link to the trailer in the description. So it's sort of about a black guy who's dating a white girl and he's visiting her rich white family for the first time ever but when he gets there sort of something doesn't seem right and I don't want to tell you anything else. I don't want to give the plot of the movie away but I definitely advise going to see it. I saw it with my mum on Mother's Day. She really enjoyed it as well so both of us thought it was really good. Yeah it's had good reviews all around from what I've heard. It's interesting it's a very different sort of horror movie or thriller. Not your typical horror movie at all. The movie gets five out of five from me. I'm um, moving on to TV. I started watching a new anime in March and that is, well, an anime that's new to me. It's not a new anime out. And that is Blue Exorcist. Zach's been watching it and I have the movie on DVD because I got it for Christmas um, a couple of years ago. So I decided I'm gonna watch the series as well and then we can watch second series together and the movie. It's about a guy who finds out that he is the son of Satan but he also wants to get revenge on Satan and also wants to fight against demons and stuff so he, he starts training to become an exorcist and it's, it's really interesting. It's really good. I don't know how far through I am. I think um only like six episodes in I think so I've still got a lot more of it left to watch but I'm really enjoying that at the moment it's really good. It's on Netflix and also Crunchyroll so if you want to watch it it's on both of those sites. Moving on to makeup. Makeup favourite of March was this which is the Rimmel Born This Way brow gel. Uh, I had never used a brow gel before I'd always used brow pencil like I said on my 2016 favourites for like a long time I've just been using the Primark brow pencil but I wanted to stop using that recently mainly just because the brow pencil could sort of like rub off. Like one time I hugged Zach and imprinted my eyebrows onto his neck when I hugged him. Oh no! So I was looking for something a bit different so I would like to pick this up, took a risk, never tried it before and it is so much easier to use. I know some people use brow pencil and this and use them together but I am not very good at doing my eyebrows and I feel like for some people double the product means like double like the effect and the precision or whatever. I'm sure we can all agree double the product is just double the mess for me. So this is what I've used to do my eyebrows today. No, you can kind of only see one. <laughs> 
there you go you can kind of see the other one now it's so much easier than pencil it literally takes me less than half the time it took me to do pencil moving on to hair as i said at the beginning of the video and hopefully you've noticed i dyed my hair my hair is now a different color still kind of like brown but it's also like a brownie purple color and the color that i've dyed it is this so this is um mystic violet and that's by um swatchkoff live intense color it can go on dark hair so it can go on black dark brown and light brown hair yeah I really like the colour. I really like how it turned out. Moving on to clothes. So there's sort of two items I got in March that I really like and they're both from Primark. So the first item, these. I got them all muddy already because what are Converse style shoes without mud on them? So they're just sort of like Converse looking trainers and they're just from Primark. I've been meaning to get a pair of comfy trainers that also look good that aren't just my gym trainers. They're really good. My second Primark favourite, um, if you follow me on Snapchat you probably will have seen me wearing these and they are these sunglasses i'm really loving like the circle rims at the moment i like how these ones are sort of like circle but i've also got like little triangles at the at the corners yeah really loving these they're gonna be great to wear in the summer i can't wait for it to be like sunny just so i can wear them <laughs> okay and now i'm gonna talk about food my favorite food that i had out for like a meal out and stuff one of my friends came um to visit liverpool and she lives in Sheffield so she came down um, just for like a day trip and we went for lunch at the Egg Cafe which is like a little independent vegetarian and vegan restaurant and it was a Sunday so they were doing roasts and things. Me and my friend both got nut roast and oh my god it was the most delicious nut roast I've ever had. It was all vegan, everything in the roast was vegan. They had gravy that was like vegan gravy and it was the most delicious vegan gravy I've ever had. The plate was just sort of like piled super high, I couldn't eat all the food that was on there that was like an awful lot of food but it was amazing and I definitely want to go back another Sunday. My favourite food that I've been making at home. This is old news to everybody else but I've only just started doing it recently and that is avocado on toast. So I've been doing half an avocado, mash it up with like olive oil, lemon juice, salt and pepper, mash it up, spread it on toast and then put like cut up cherry tomatoes on the top and like mate it's nice mate is nice. Okay so video games. This is gonna be boring but it's like the same one as in my last video. It's um Monkey Island. I did another playthrough of it to try and get all of the achievements and I've still got one achievement left to get so I still have to do one more playthrough to get all of the achievements. I just love that game. It's a lot of fun. Yeah mobile games. I've been playing a MOBA on my phone which is called Mobile Legends. It's really good. Yeah it's just really fun. Uh, just kind of as you take a typical MOBA, you're in teams of five. For anyone who doesn't know what a MOBA is, it sounds for multiplayer online battle arena and it's basically you're in two teams. There's different turrets and you've got to basically beat the other team, like destroy the most turrets or destroy their main turret. Yeah, it's just really fun. I'll leave a link to it in the description and also um, you can add people as friends and stuff on it if you want to add me as a friend. Um, as in most things, um, my name is Squish the Ninja on it. So my favourite social media of March is probably Instagram. I've been posting every single day, mainly stuff from my Amsterdam trip. I've just been doing like one photo a day. I've like stopped posting the stuff from my Amsterdam trip. I'm still going to keep on posting um, a new photo every day. So if you would like to see mostly travel photos, some selfies and sometimes food, go head over to my Instagram. It's Squish the Ninja, probably one of my most used apps of the month. My favourite sort of event or thing I did in the month. Kind of had two things going on. I may as well talk about like my birthday and stuff here. For my birthday I went to an event in Liverpool that was called uh, the Black Parade Emo Anthems and it was like an emo night. Music was so good. Um, there's another one in a couple of months so I should be going to that as well. So I had the night out and then the next day my friend came to visit and did the day trip and then on my actual birthday which was a Monday me and Zach went out for a meal um, for some Japanese food and then on the Tuesday I went around to my parents when we got takeaway so it kind of celebrated for like four days but my favorite sort of event thing that I did in March was actually for Mother's Day me my dad my mom and my brother all went down to Wickham because my mom's favorite restaurant is around there so we went there and that was like an Indian yeah it was really nice and then that was on the Saturday and then on Mothering Sunday me and my mom spent the whole day together we went out we got food we got some like noodles um, and we went to go see a movie which was Get Out that I mentioned earlier and then we had a couple 
of drinks and it was just it was just really really nice and that was probably my favorite thing that i did in march and finally i'm going to talk about my favorite youtuber my favorite youtuber in march was thomas sanders you may recognize his name you may not but if you don't recognize his name you've probably seen one of his videos before he used to be pretty big on vine when vine was big he did story time videos and also lots of like disney vines like story time vines and disney vines and since vine closed down he sort of like jumped over to youtube and his videos were amazing he like makes everyone feel welcome to his videos makes them funny like you laugh at like every video and then also he covers like really important topics and stuff in his videos he talks about sort of like he talks about internal struggles when it was like women's day and he had like a video about important women in history and on like black history month he had black people in history and things that we haven't learned about he talks about lgbt issues and i don't know it's just amazing that he manages to do all of those things like he manages to encapsulate all that and he just seems he just seems really wonderful and he'll always cheer you up as well as making you like more informed about things or like maybe see something in a sl slightly different way than you would normally he's really insightful and funny and a lovely youtuber who makes wonderful videos please go check him out and i'll put a little link in the description below yes that's the end of my favorites video if you liked my favorites give this video a like because I would appreciate it and also if you're not subscribed to my channel please subscribe if you want to see more of my face in your screen give me a comment with your favorites tell me what things you find good and then I'll check them out so that's it for me today guys and I hope you have a good week I'll see you on Sunday bye hey I'm so <sighs> messy right now I like I should turn my phone on silent when I'm filming Put a description in the link below. I don't think that's how I was meant to say it. <laughs>